Okay, I'm going to run you through really quick how to do proper research when you want to create a post that you want for StumbleUpon. It's really simple if you do the proper research and note that you are, when you want to create a post for StumbleUpon specifically, do it in a way that's going to cater to StumbleUpon readers. So here I am on the home page. I just logged in. And if you already have your interests and everything set up, your topics will show right here. But if you don't already, then you would click Profile, and it would show you all of the different things that you like. Now I'm in my profile, and you can scroll down and just click whatever target that your post is going to be in. So if it's in self-improvement, click right here where it says the actual category and it'll take you to post similar. So right now we're going to do a post say we're looking for something on marketing. So I would just search for here in this box I would put in marketing and it would get me to this page and as you can see they're all marketing. The first one that comes up a really awesome small business post on Forbes that you should all read right away but look at the number of views and follow ones that have a large number of views. So here's one 23,000 views and once you if you click marketing you'll go to the whole category so we'll just search marketing now this post 300,000 views 50 viral images shared on the web let's see what that looks like so you'll notice right away this is an image post you can see 50 viral images from 2000 the images show right away and it's just a ton of infographics easily to create a post like that this one 117,000 views the anatomy of a perfect landing page and that's just an infographic another easy one to create 177,000 views you can see all it is, is a very simple infographic with arrows pointing at it another one for marketing you see 89,000 views, 50 scientific proven ways to be persuasive. So you got your headline that is catching, it grabs their attention right away and you can see the list without scrolling down. You can already start to read the list that makes the reader want to scroll down, check out the rest of the list and they're more likely to hit that thumbs up and see it again. So say we were looking at business, take a look at some other posts so we're now we're in the business category and 10 TED talks that will transform your career another list post 43,000 views here's the HBS elevator pitch 197,000 views and that is the interactive post I mentioned you have to actually you get here is just a single landing page you have to click enter and it asks you to basically walk you through a series of questions to create your own elevator pitch that's engaging it gets the people you read that one line and of course you're gonna to want to answer the question you get thumbs up you get more views then you get another and you can just keep looking go through this list look at anything that has a large number of views like 98,000 views 500 positive resume action verbs it's just a list of verbs 500 verbs, 98,000 views, 233 ways to make money. So you can easily see what type of post to create if you want to make something for stumble upon. Look what's already working and just create something similar. That is why a regular article post does not do well unless you have amazing headline 
some sort of image, something that grabs them immediately without having to scroll because you got five seconds and you're over. That's all you have to do. Look in your category, see what's working in your category, and duplicate it.